Why? Oh, hello there. It's Sophia. Sophia Tipperillo. Now I got here. Look at this. Look at this. Apparently, my pussycat thought it would be a funny joke to give me my own head for Christmas. You know, I've done that before in Sicily. But that's another story for another time. Today, we are going to unbox a Golden Girls Sophia decorative planter, also known as a chia pet. Okay, here we go. Well, let's look at this thing a little closer, shall we? On the front, we got all the Golden Girls. Look at them all. They got Rose, Dorothy, my pussycat, Blanche, and even myself. And look, you can collect all of us. You can have all of our heads. You can have green stuff growing out of all of us. Well, some of us already have green stuff growing out of us. But again, that's another story for another time. So here we go. My first unboxing video. All right, so first, it's got a little tab on top. I, I think I'm doing this right. The kids do this, you pull it out. Let's see what's inside this. I've never opened this before. All right, let's see here. We got, uh, oh, we got some seeds. Or perhaps a festive instrument if you're lonely and by yourself. Like myself, sometimes at Shady Pines. Pussycat, come visit me, please. Look what I'm doing with my time. We got the seeds. What else we got? Oh, instructions. Eh. What else we got? What is this? Oh, here comes my head. Ah, it's like being born again. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Careful, careful. Aha! Hey, look at that. That's kind of cute. It's like a, uh, it's like a little bust of me. I'm like artwork. Let's see. <clears throat> Instructions for growing your chia planter. One, soak your chia planter in water for half an hour. I don't have time for that. Number two, in a separate container, mix two teaspoons of chia seeds with a quarter cup of water. I've heard of these chia seeds. People are putting them in their smoothies nowadays. <laughs> Look at that. In the 80s, we used chia seeds to grow planters. Nowadays, people are putting them in their smoothies. What's next? A, uh, a, a kale head? <laughs> that wasn't funny. I apologize. Let's see, what else? Uh, you mix the two teaspoons of chia seeds with a quarter cup of water. You stir the mixture occasionally for half an hour to form a gel-like paste. Ugh. Which will help seeds adhere to your chia planter. All right, so apparently this thing is not just seeds, but also some kind of gel-like substance. Don't tell Blanche. She'll probably use it in some kind of kinky way that I don't want to know about. So don't comment below about how she may or may not be using the chia seeds in an inappropriate way. But then again, do. What do I care? Note. Oh, I skipped many, many steps. Note. Proper measurement of seeds and water is important to correct consistency of seed mixture. After stirring and letting mixture sit for 10 minutes, seed mixture should have a jam-like consistency. All right, first it's a gel-like paste. Now it's a jam-like consistency. Is it a gel or is it a jam or is it a paste or does it matter? Does any of this matter? I don't know, but either way, I'm kind of excited that I'm a head. I mean, I have a head, but also now there's also this head. Hey, there's a hole in the top. <laughs> you know that one joke where they say, I need that like I need another hole in my head? Well, there you go. I got a hole in my head. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you need a jam-like consistency. This is necessary so the seeds don't slide off your chia. Sounds like a weird yoga pose. Maybe next I could do a yoga video. Three, empty excess water from your planter and place planter on the drip tray provided. Hold up. I do not believe there was a drip tray provided. You're lucky I did this unboxing video for you. Otherwise, you'd be screwed with no drip tray provided. Let's see. All right. Oh. Oh, no. Joseph Enterprises. I am disappointed. I see no drip tray. I see a big piece of cardboard. And don't you tell me this is a drip tray. It's not a drip tray. It's cardboard. It's going to get all wet. This is insane. This is ridiculous. You know what? I'm writing to them. Joseph. Joseph Enterprises. Interesting. 
another great Chia Pet product, my my Sicilian Reren. Let's see. Apply a thin layer of seeds to the clay. Spread the chia seed mixture evenly on the grooved surface of your planter using a small knife, a spoon, or your fingers. That's the Sicilian way. Knife, spoon, fingers. You gotta use what you got. All right, let's see what else. Don't worry if the chia seeds are looking very dry. They will start to sprout once you add water. Sounds like me. Sometimes I get dry, but then I add water and I start to sprout. Five, this is a lot of steps for growing something out of your own head, I gotta say. You know, part of me thinks that maybe my pussycat gave this to me to keep me occupied. She said, hey Ma, here's a chia head. Here's some kind of YouTube light. Here's a table, here's a chair. Here's a bizarre white background. Start reading instructions, and here I am. I'm pretty sure she's trying to keep me occupied until I die. Part of me's okay with that. You know, I bet you Rose would do a good job with this too. Although she would get distracted early on, and she would never even finish. She'd probably start talking about St. Olaf. About that time she once conceived her daughter while dressed as a sandwich. Have you heard that story? It's bizarre. But then again, talk with Rose for five minutes, and you're going to hear a lot of bizarre. But that's why we love her. Because she's bizarre. Final step. When the growth appears leggy or overgrown, <laughs> much like my pussycat, she's very leggy. And very overgrown. Such a handsome woman. When the growth appears leggy or overgrown, it is time to remove the old growth. Chia planters should be washed and can be replanted indefinitely. Well, I gotta say, for a company that forgot to provide me my, my drip tray or whatever the heck it's called, I like that you stand behind your product and you say that this can be cleaned and replanted indefinitely. I'm impressed. I wonder if you can do other things besides chia seed. Maybe some other kind of seed. Flax, perhaps. Or maybe that quinoa. I like quinoa. It's got like a ninja sound to it. Very dangerous sounding, that quinoa. Hmm. Anyway, I think that's all it for now. Hopefully I can make a YouTube video later of me actually making this thing into a thing. All right, so I got to line it up. There it is. Put all the things in front of the things. You also have your instructions. Your instructions that are very bizarre indeed. That's what you get. No drip tray though, so beware. Buyer beware, no drip tray. Unless maybe I just misplaced it. Who knows? Comment below. I'm like artwork. Place a plastic bag loosely over the chia planter for a few days until the seeds sprout or mist your planter daily to moisten the seeds. Moist. That's one of Blanche's favorite words.